course. But let's talk about uh, this, because, Ryan, you have some news today about uh, this well, warrant to surveil the phone messages in, uh, of uh, James Rose. Well, so the Justice calls. Department didn't want this search warrant to become public. And so they fought this in the courts. And one of the, the argument that they made to uh, a federal judge is, we have to make this, we can't tell James Rosen or the public about this search warrant because we may have to go back in and continually surveil this email account. In other words, if we find evidence of a larger criminal conspiracy between Rosen and the state, his State Department source, um, I remember at that point they believed they were involved in a conspiracy to commit espionage. They argued to the feds, to the federal court, that we're going to have to continue to monitor that email account. That was the argument, and that argument prevailed. That they were going to keep it secret. They were going to keep it secret, and they, and they did indeed, and the judge ordered that they could keep that secret. Two lower court, two, low, two magistrates said, you've got to tell Rosen about this, even if it's delayed. They appealed it, and the, the higher court, based on that argument, that we may have to go back and surveil his email over a longer period of time, won the day, and they were allowed to keep it secret. I remember a lot of conservatives uh, saying that Holder lied in his testimony before Congress, but Holder's a lawyer, and he's a smart lawyer, whether or not you like him or his politics, and he didn't say the surveilling of journalists, he said the prosecution of journalists, he, and they have not prosecuted uh, James Rosen. Well, attorneys general are usually lawyers, and they are usually very good about technically avoiding perjury, <laughs> and I think that is exactly what's happened here. But let's also keep in mind that the president just yesterday said he was going to put Attorney General Holder in charge <laughs> of reviewing the administration's policies on the free press, and given that he apparently signed off that, that the Justice Department is saying that he signed yeah. off on uh, these tactics, you have to wonder how much confidence you should have in that review. That's a real problem. Mira? <laughs> Look, I think the president uh, was right yesterday, and we shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't be chilling the speech of reporters. We shouldn't have over-investigation. The challenge here is that over the last two, three years, it's been conservatives who've attacked this White House for leaks of national security. Just during the election, there were attacks on Tom Donnell and others for allegedly leaking information. So there's a balance here. Now, that balance should be in favor of protecting the First Amendment. We should get to the bottom of what happened here. I don't think anyone should be spied upon to get in, to chill what they're kind of reporting that should be public, whether they're from Fox, CNN, or MSNBC. But I think we should, we should try to get to the bottom of this before we allege perjury or otherwise. Right. I think one of the issues is uh, that in their leak investigations, the prosecutors seem to be just going to the reporter yeah. and trying to figure out who gave the information to the reporter who is not bound by any law that yeah. he that he uh, is not going to disclose secrets instead of doing a leak investigation within the officers of the government and that's a true fishing expedition the white house talks about the benghazi fishing expeditions these are prosecutorial fishing expeditions and they do ryan you talk about this they do have a chilling effect on journalism oh they do look look I'm, everyone in this town can 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 find an example of doing what James Rosen did in this case. That is, trying to get someone to tell them a secret. Now, I don't necessarily know when I'm talking to a government official if what I'm trying to get out of them is, is classified, um, but I do what I, what I can to get the information. That's what is so crazy about this case is that in the search warrant, the FBI agent told the judge that we need this information because we think this guy, James Rosen, is a criminal comp cons conspiring with a government official to release classified information. And it's such a broad search for information as well, so that let's say you are somebody who's working in the government or a whistleblower somewhere else, and you are in contact with a journalist. You've got to worry, is this information, is the fact of our contact going to appear to somebody that you had no idea was being disclosed to? And they are, you have the last word. Look, they should obviously be going after the government leakers first and foremost. There are questions of if, if he knew it, knowingly went after this information, like if he was trying to get classified information and knew about it, but obviously... You know, the government should be investigating reporters last, not first. So we